Hi, in this class I would like to discuss about electrical pulp testing. So electrical pulp testing also called as EPT is usually done to analyze the vitality of a tooth. Unlike heat test, cold test as well as electrical pulp testing help us to evaluate the vitality of a tooth. So the objective of electrical pulp testing is to evaluate the vitality of a given tooth by stimulating sensory fibers present within the pulp. So thereby based on the response we analyze the vitality. So before understanding in detail the functioning of EPT we need to have an idea on how exactly this electrical pulp testing is performed. So coming to procedure we first explain the patient the procedure in detail and we make use of an electronic probe which is provided by the manufacturer and we place the tip of the probe on the tooth the, so the probe has to be in contact with the tooth and the placement varies so the placement of the probe in case of anteriors it's the incisal third in case of posteriors probe has to be placed in the middle third so middle third or incisal third of the facial surface the reason is that many studies have clearly shown that in case of incisal thirds of anteriors and middle third of posteriors the nerve density is very high so this is the ideal location for placement of the probe provided by the manufacturer and then we start uh, we need to make use of an electrolyte usually a toothpaste so uh, electrolyte is very much essential as it helps us to conduct electricity so this electrolyte which is usually toothpaste can be placed in these regions and then we will place a tip of the probe and then slowly increase the current intensity by turning the rheostat slowly and we will ask the patient to raise his hand or give us an indication where, wherein he feels a tingling sensation or mild pain occasionally. So the most important aspect of the entire procedure is closing the circuit. So the circuit can be closed either by asking the patient to hold on to the lip clip which is provided by the manufacturer or we'll place the lip clip directly inside the oral cavity where we will have a hook like thing which is attached to the buccal mucosa which is passively attached to the buccal mucosa so closure of circuit is very much important or else we cannot elicit the result so that's how we usually perform electrical pulp testing so the points to be kept in mind is we have something called as an electronic probe which is provided by the manufacturer it, can, it is usually placed it has to be in contact with the teeth and in case of anteriors it's placed in the incisal third and in case of posteriors it's placed in the middle third so the electrolyte which we use is usually a toothpaste or it can be either aqueous or oil based separating media or a gel like substance and then Closing the circuit is very much important. We should ask the patient to either hold on to the lip clip or the lip clip can be placed directly inside the oral cavity, passively attach it to the buccal mucosa or the cheek for that matter. So then we have something called as false positive and false negative responses. The drawback of EPT is that even though the results are reliable, there can be a chance for false positive and false negative responses because of the following reasons. False positive results are usually seen in cases where we have moist necrotic pulp. So in cases where there is necrotic pulp which is moist, there is obviously passage of electricity leading to false positive result. On the other hand, in case of multi-rooted teeth, there can be a single root or a few roots containing vital pulp tissue. So even in those circumstances, there can be false positive result. So false positive is usually seen in moist necrotic pulp cases and in cases where we have multi-rooted teeth with a slight amount of viable pulpal tissue. And then we have false negative results or false negative responses. This is even more important and it's misleading. 
There are several reasons for this false negative responses. The first one being extensive restorations. So extensive restorations with pulp protecting base. So usually in this circumstance, because of the presence of the restorative material as well as the base, there is hindrance to the flow of current. And then presence of any calcifications or deposition of tertiary dentin leading to the minimal um, leading to the closure of the pulp chamber thereby inhibiting the flow of current so presence of calcifications etc can also lead to false negative responses and even in cases where patients are on sedative medication there can be false negative response and in cases where patients usually have high threshold patients having high threshold to pain And most importantly, false negative results are seen in traumatic cases, in luxation cases where with a recent history of trauma, less than two weeks or one week, what happens is uh, the pulp will be in a physiological state of shock that we term it as stunned pulp, stunned pulp. So even in traumatic cases, that's the reason why when there is trauma to a particular tooth, pulp testing is contraindicated for the first two weeks. because the pulp is in a physiologic state of shock which we term it as uh, stunned pulp so these are the various reasons wherein we have false negative responses one is extensive restorations with pulp protecting base presence of calcifications patients on sedative medications and patients usually uh, with a high threshold to pain and most importantly in traumatic cases where there is luxation of tooth where there is stunning of pulp physiologically where, wherein we find false negative responses so this is in brief regarding electrical pulp testing and as discussed previously when compared to other tests like cold test or hot test pulp test results are reliable and we can evaluate the vitality accordingly and studies have clearly shown that no single test will accurately give you the status of the pulp if we perform electrical pulp test, it's important that we supplement this test along with other tests such as cold tests. So both tests have to be done if necessary simultaneously or one after the other, I mean one after the other and then validate the findings only to obtain proper diagnosis. So this is in brief about electrical pulp testing. Mm -hmm.